this video intended for educational purposes. Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome back for another Minecraft snapshot. This is 13W24A and B for Thursday, June 13th. Now, I wasn't around when these snapshots came out, I was visiting my parents. But uh, I'm back now, and I'm going to go over them with you guys, and we've got two of them to go over. Now, there's some weird stuff going on behind me, but I'll explain. The A snapshot was, uh, the big step for that was that resource packs are now in instead of texture packs, and there were a few glitches with that, as you can see here. Minecarts basically contained everything in the game, it was really weird, and uh, <laughs> lots of weird texture glitches there. And then ghasts would shoot end portal frames, so some interesting stuff, but that was all glitches. But now we are in uh, 13W24B, and let's go into some of the stuff. Now the first thing you can see over here is this weird obstacle course looking thing. This is just to show that carpets uh, now can be placed on pretty much everything, including water source blocks, chests, saplings, signs, other carpet, torches, mob heads, flower pots, all this stuff. So basically anything you can think of, you can place carpet now very easily on, which is very handy for builders. I'm all for any block being able to be placed on any other block for building purposes. So that's a pretty cool thing. Now uh, over here I got this little cage and if you see, if you look hard enough you can see these little glowing eyes. That's because uh, spiders when invisible, uh, like Endermen, they will still show their eyes because they have like a glow effect. And this is a naturally invisible spider and if I fly over here, here's another one. This is uh, Jimbo the Quick. He's got a speed effect. This was uh, Skittles the Unseen, I think. I can't remember his name. I named all of them just so that they wouldn't despawn. Here is Tim the Invincible, and I believe if we go over here, there's one more that I found. That's another Jimbo. That's uh, somewhere around here. There is a Strength Spider. But basically, uh, Dinnerbone, seeing as he has boosted uh, skeletons, and uh, oh, there's that one. Uh, skeletons, there's the strength guy, this is Boris the Strong, but skeletons and, uh, and zombies have been boosted a lot. They've got a lot of new skills to kill us easier and make them stronger, but because uh, spiders can't wear armor or do special stuff like that with weapons, he has given them the chance to spawn with potion effects, and so far I believe the ones that I've accounted for are speed, uh, poison, uh, I, I'm actually on the fence about poison, I haven't seen that myself, but I heard someone mention that. Uh, so speed, regen, strength, and invisibility. Invisibility took me a long time to get, so you probably won't see it that often. It seemed like speed and regen were the most common. I only got a few of the strength, and actually got about five spider jockeys in the time that it took to find some potion effect spiders. So they are going to be very rare, but they will be pretty deadly, so you're going to want to look out for these guys. Just a little uh, reminder there. And another thing I want to uh, mention here, you might have noticed it's been the same time of day and the sun is not moving at all or it is slightly. This is the new game rule. It is game rule do daylight cycle and you can put it to false and it will freeze whatever time of day you choose. So if I was to do time set night uh, because I've already frozen it, it will go to night but it's gonna stay right there. The sun's not moving anywhere and I can do time set day and we'll have eternal sunrise or whatever. Whoa. What is going on? That's weird. The sun like faded away. That was really creepy. I haven't had that happen before. Oh, maybe it's it's raining, I bet. And we're in the desert, so we can't see. Okay. I was about to say, the sun like disappeared, but now that the weather is clear, it should. There it goes. That's strange. Okay, so yeah, the sun is stuck there, and it's going to keep jittering back and forth. But this is very helpful for anyone who wants an eternal night or eternal day thing, and they don't want to use a uh, you know a plugin on the server to do that. It's a new vanilla game rule, so that is really awesome. Especially for me with snapshots, I, I definitely appreciate it because I usually try to keep it daytime to show you guys stuff, but it kind of constantly changes. So the resource packs are in, and there's a tool to convert them. Uh, so this is the big thing, people uh, were kind of complaining that it didn't seem like there were much features added, but the resource packs, they are important because it's going to make it much easier for the mod API to work if they have a built-in ability to change sounds, add textures, all that stuff without having to go through, you know, other means to do that. And of course we can add uh, texture packs that also have custom sound packs and music if we want. So uh, spawn eggs, here's another thing that any squid lovers are going to enjoy. But this also works with uh, any other spawn egg. They also now work on water. 
So if you want to spawn a squid, you don't have to spawn it like underwater on a block and have them smother or whatever. You can just hit right in the water. But this also works with other mob eggs, so I can just make spiders spawn in the water now. So that's pretty cool. Maybe we'll get another potion effect. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, there's that. The, uh, the golden apples that I just addressed the, in the other weeks have been changed already. The health boost potion effect, while still technically in the game, has been removed from the golden apples. We new have a, now have a new absorption effect. And if I hop down here, I can show you guys. Maybe I'll even fight one of these spiders. So the absorption effect is pretty close to the health boost. Uh, it adds two hearts per level, and by default, I think it's only one level on both of the types of golden apples. Uh, it will give you those two extra hearts, and when you take damage, those hearts are used up first. So here, I'm going to pop one in my mouth here, and we got absorption for a minute and a half. So when I get hit by this uh, regen spider, come on, Tim, come at me. Oh. He didn't actually hurt me there. What the heck? There we go. So he used up those, and then I gotta kill Tim real quick. Yeah, his regen didn't help him much against the diamond sword. So if I were to wait here, uh, the the two extra health will not recover naturally. So I'm not gonna recover them from food, but every 30 seconds it will tick and the extra hearts will reappear. So you do get them back. It's uh, it's kind of strange. It's not. There we go. I already got him back. So it seemed like it was even less than 30 seconds. So yeah, it's it's a little different from health boost. I think it's just to avoid giving people extra health. It's just kind of an extra absorption effect now. I get, well, it's called absorption, so that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> and the golden apple uh, has it too. I think I believe it's the same level. The the OP golden apple, like the block golden apple, has it as well. Same amount of time. But the golden apple, uh, the this one, the black one, apparently has regen 5, even though it doesn't say it does. So if I was to, like, fly up and uh, fall, hopefully I would regen, like, insanely quickly, since I have regen 5, supposedly. So let's see. Yeah, see, see how fast that regenerated? That was crazy. Okay. So those are that. Uh, some bug fixes were, were added in there. Uh, one of the most notable ones is that Ender Eyes were not exactly showing people where the strongholds were. They were kind of glitching, like, they wouldn't go the right way, they'd kind of lead you back and forth, but no longer they should direct right to the strongholds. So that's it for that. Uh, there's a lot of bug fixes, but a lot of it was kind of fixing things that got broken with the resource packs. But anyways, uh, lots of cool little features, very different things that are all, like, directed towards building, survival, game up like it's pretty spread out in these snapshots but uh, now that the resource pack is done I have a feeling we're getting close to the release of 1.6 so not too much longer I'm gonna guess uh, they got the horses in which is the main thing and they got the resource packs done so I'm I'm predicting we might get a pre-release within the next couple weeks here and maybe we'll even see 1.6 out before July thanks for watching guys uh, as always Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Sorry for not having too many Minecraft recently. As I said, I was out of town. But Minecraft will continue along with Animal Crossing. So uh, I'll see you guys next time for more snapshots. Goodbye.